Hello, dear friends. I hope y'all are doing good. Um, just thought I'd share just a little bit. Um, you have to excuse the lighting. It's dark. And I'm outside in my car just spending some time alone and thought, um, if your house is busy, I found that just getting my car, you know, somewhere where I can have some time to myself sometimes is important. But, um, anyways, I, I hear this a lot on videos or from people. And I don't have anybody in particular in my mind. Just This is just a kind of overall generic statement. Uh, it may not apply to you, but it's something anybody could think about. This happened to me in my walk with the Lord. Um, what started happening was, I was growing in the Lord. And what do I mean by that? But... I saw my life changing more and more. I saw my nature being changed by the Lord more and more. As I would learn more of his word and his, um, and the scriptures would come more alive to me, um, the Lord would bring about opportunities for me to practice those scriptures. You know, like for example, um, do not be quickly offended. Or easily offended. C circumstances would come up to where it was a situation to where it'd be real easy for me to be offended. But the Lord would send that scripture to my mind. Reminders. And I would just say, Lord, you know, please help me with these thoughts and feelings I'm having about being offended. And that happened over time. And I started to see the Lord really changing me about that. I would be not as quick to be offended when somebody said something mean to me or hateful or snide or did something, you know, against me. I saw progress in that area. And not just that area. Many other areas, many other portions of Scripture that have to do with how we are to walk you know, day to day in the Lord. And this takes place over time. And this is a wonderful thing. And I, I surely not want to come across like I'm downplaying that amazing miracle of a transformed heart and mind. Because I'm not. But <clears throat> as I said, I was growing, growing, growing in the Lord. And this may not be for anybody listening, but for me, I couldn't see this at the time. Now, at this point where the Lord has got me, I can look back at some of even my old videos. And I can look out and see the way I was growing in the Lord and how my mind was being changed and these good things happening in my life for me as far as my relationship with the Lord. And I can see that happening with other people. But things started happening and like I've shared before, my world started getting turned upside down and I haven't went into detail about that and I don't know if or when I will. But basically, it was just things that the Lord began to show me from His Word. And this has taken time, and I'm still learning. Always learning from the Lord. I don't know when ever we would stop learning from the Lord. But what I'm learning now is that, and I've shared this before, as I was growing in Him, as I was not looking so much like the rest of the world around me. As I was not engaging in some of the things that the world around me was engaging in and finding joy or fun or whatever in, I had no desire for such things anymore. I was just as happy to spend time alone studying the scriptures, spending time talking with the Lord, listening for the Lord, things like this. And I'm just not sure, you know, I don't know. Maybe somebody else would know. 
if that's just common, that's what happens. We, the more we grow with the Lord, um, the more, the more time we spend with Him, the more change we see happening in us, and it is a good thing. But here's what started to change for me, um, and that is that the Lord began to show me that all this insight he had given me, all of this maybe understanding he would give me into his word, all these ways that he was changing my nature to be less offended at others, to be more quick to forgive, to be more gentle. Um, and these were all things I could not do on my own, by my own discipline. These were just desires that I had inside my heart that I'd cry out to the Lord for, and then it would take time and circumstances and feeling like I failed and all this kind of stuff for the Lord to do the work in me. To fulfill that desire that I had to be more humble. The Lord has to do it in us. Um, because if we somehow get credit for that, we will boast about it. But anyways, as I was increasing in all of these good things, the Lord began to show me that the whole reason... All of these good things were coming about in me was so that now I can turn around and learn how to go about and actually love others as myself so that that greatest command could be also fulfilled in me. That, that all these good things that were happening, the way I thought, the way I acted and behaved, growing and um, I don't really want to say that, and I hope it's not taken wrong, but maybe more upright, like, I don't know how to say it, but maybe others could notice more and more there was something different about me, and in a good way. But that wasn't just for me to keep growing more and more like him, more and more righteous, more and more set apart and all these things. Just for that to be the case, for me to be some good, great, holy, righteous person now. But it all these things were given to me so that now I can go out and deal with those people around me as gently and kindly and mercifully forgiving as the Lord was with me and still is each day. You know, now the Lord has helped me to be not as quick to be offended so that these people around me, I'm not going to hold any grudges. I'm not going to be offended. And when they when they realize they've done or said something wrong and they expect me to fire back or act like they did or whatever, when I'm able to respond gently and kindly and overlook that offense, they get a glimpse of the nature of the Lord, of the goodness of the Lord towards them. That is these good things I have received from the Spirit of the Lord doing the work in me and you. Now we can turn and deal gently with others. You know, when he corrects us on not gossiping about others, well, that's so that we can go out and people might can share things they're doing or have done, and we'll keep that with us and, you know, be respectful and not gossip about it. This is, so, when I can look around and see people that are talking about, sharing, about the good things the Lord is doing in them, we have to be careful because it becomes very easy 
to look around and see what everybody else is doing wrong. We have to trust the Lord that he will deal with these people in the same way he has with us. And we can plead with the Lord and intercede to the Lord for these people and everything. Because the only difference between me and all these other people is the grace and the mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ. And all good things that come out of me are from Him and His teaching. His teaching to me. Any understanding or wisdom I might have in the scriptures is because He has been kind enough to open my mind to understand. That, if it comes time, I could share with somebody else. Or that might I understand a situation better. And know how to deal with a person better. In a humble way. So, you know, in all these ways that we're, I'm going to wrap this up. That we're growing with the Lord. Becoming more like Him. The more and more as we approach home. To be with Him forevermore. It's not just, it's not just for our benefit. There are scriptures. And I'm sorry I'm really not quoting a lot of scriptures today. But I think y'all will know these as I talk about them. That every gift we are given. Every victory we have in the Lord. In every way that we are different than we used to be. Is for the building up of the body of Christ. It's for the church of God. It's for his bride. It's to love and care for others. To think more highly of them than we do ourselves. And that is kind of where the Lord is. Is taking me. So it was almost like I was climbing higher and higher. And growing in wisdom. And um, doing right. And all these things. Only for the Lord to begin to take me down a little bit. To show me. That it's not for you to be in an exalted position. Misty. Knowing these things. Um, living differently, being different now, but it's that you might know how to now go out. That others might see the light of Christ in you. That they're not, the first thing they're not going to know about you or see about you if they spend time with you is not all your Bible knowledge and your wisdom and how good you are and how right you do. But they're going to first see, sense, and feel the love of Christ and the fruits of the Spirit, which are gentleness and kindness. And I can't even remember all of them, but I'm sure y'all know. I hope that might could help somebody to think about. just felt it might be a good time to share that. It's truly what's been happening with me, and uh, I hope somebody might can relate. I love y'all. Um, I hope you're doing good. Now I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.